Hi guys, Dave Anderson, Helicools Helipad. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, uh, Bob has been on vacation in Texas visiting his son for the last, oh, about week and a half, and he is due back this week. So we're gonna run over to his place and we're gonna do something to surprise him when he comes back. I did this about five years ago and it's time to continue the tradition. I'm also gonna show you a very quick and easy way how to check the uh, planetary front hubs and uh, make sure that you get the, the little plug at the four o'clock position like it's supposed to be checked. Um, I'll do that right after we go check out Bob's place. While Silas Bob is away on vacation in Texas, the gnomes have come out to play. He's due home this week, so Brother Roy is uh, mowing the lawn, and I am going to attempt to do something with this structure that I built. It was a five-sided structure, five poles, one in the center, and it had, uh, I planted grapes several years ago, but this thing blew down in a windstorm, of course it was five years up, and it was just raw logs. So I'm gonna try to make something so that uh, these things, these grapes anyway, can start growing up a trellis again. So I managed to salvage a few logs that were about the same size. And what I'm gonna do is uh, make a tripod lashing and put tripods over the three, if I have enough poles, the three uh, grapes that I planted here five years ago. There's one here, there's one in a, a corner that's about right in the center of the picture, and there's another one about in the center of the picture there. You can't see them because it's kind of squashed. But it's time to do it before it gets into the summer and these grapes start latching on to all that chicken wire and it'll be impossible to get through. You'll have to cut the chicken wire out. I'm gonna do a modified tripod lashing. I just did, you know, normally you'd start it with a clove hitch and then work it under, over, you know, in a figure eight pattern. Of course, this being three poles, you have to have an extra loop, but it's basically a shear lashing, but with three poles. But instead, I'm gonna do a different one. It's a little faster. It's just to go around it several times, round and round and round, and then I'm gonna do the fraps last and then tie it off with a clove hitch. And uh, I've had great success with that and it's a really quick, down and dirty, easy one to do. Well, I don't know if you can see it because it got crushed, but you can see that this is the grape, the grape right here. I had a hard time finding it actually. Because it's just it just got mushed, laid down flat. But I'm catching it just as it's sprouting. And this is oh, I guess finished. We got the, the tripod up. And I've got the grape all put back together and some lines to kind of help it uh, stay off the ground. I'm gonna try to convince Bob to use a couple of bricks to maybe put under these poles. There's another one. But I managed to clear a lot of the brush away. Got lots of thorns doing it too in my hands. But I think this will be a good surprise for Bob when he comes home. This is the last one to raise and I had to use some monster pulls so I hope I can get this one up because I, I didn't bring my tripod so I can't show you. But this one's gonna be a hummer to get up but it's gonna look great when it's done. But with a couple of prayers, 
I got that monster up. Whew. That was heavy. Heavy, heavy. But I think these tree, these uh, tripods look fantastic together. And I hope that uh, the blackberries can be maintained away from these uh, grapes. Uh, they've been in the ground for a while now, so maybe this is the year it's going to produce grapes. I hope. All right, so I'm going to illustrate how to get this uh, at the four o'clock position, which is where it needs to be in order to check the oil level. As you can see, I've put a mark in the very center of the hub, um, and I've also put a straight edge along this line and along this line. So I have a mark here and a mark here. So I'm going to put some tape on there to illustrate where these are actually pointing to. All right, if you follow the top part of the tape, you'll notice that it is right here at this peak and also right here at this peak and the top of it goes right around and is dead center on the cap so given that knowledge I can start to work out a, a couple of angles All right, here's a quick tutorial about uh, the positioning of this filler uh, cap. And it needs to be, as we all know, at the four o'clock position. So if we have a clock here, and this is 12, this is six, we have one, two, three, four, and five, and we can split that up into one, two, three, four, five, six parts. There are six pieces of pie here. We all know that uh, half of a circle is 180 degrees. Divided by six gives us 30 degrees for each piece of pie. Because at the four o'clock, there's one, two, three, four pieces of pie. At the uh, four o'clock position, each piece of pie is 30 degrees, gives us 120 degrees. The position um, of the hub is, is pretty much just like this on that, that large uh, nut looking thing on the face of the hub. Um, and if, if uh, this is at the four o'clock position, it needs to be at the 120 degree mark. Now I've gone ahead and drawn this out and as you can see plainly here, that if this is at the four hundred, this is at the four o'clock position, and this is one hundred and twenty degrees, which it is, because uh, well, this is ninety right here. Um, we know that by a right triangle, and this extra piece here is thirty degrees. This is a thirty, sixty, ninety triangle so I know that that's 30 degrees 30 and 90 makes 120 make a long story short if you put a level right on top of this this uh, structure of the hub and it's got a magnet on it to help it hold there the level should be perfectly level across this point here zero bubble when this filler port is at the four o'clock position. So this is a very quick and easy way to reference that. In order to uh, fill the planetary, planetary front hub, uh, check the fluid level and or fill it, 
and putting it at the four o'clock position, put a level on that upper part of the face of the bolt and it should be perfectly aligned at four o'clock when the level is at zero bubble. All right, guys, this is a number eight metric. Comes on a standard set of uh, Stanley Allen wrenches. Um, mine had a lot of paint kind of gooped in it, so I kind of had to work it in, but uh, it looks like it's um, pretty good now. I'm gonna, uh, because there's a lot of paint on it, of course, I'm gonna give it a good liberal spray of uh, PB Blaster, but this was an excellent technique. And uh, all my son had to do was watch the bubble in the center to make sure it was level. And uh, we know that that's at the four o'clock position, so now we can go ahead and service it properly. All right, we'll just let that soak in, maybe give it another squirt in about 10 minutes and uh, try to get it off. Not bad. Holy mackerel. This thing is so over full. All right, well, there's just the tiniest bit I mean, this is just very, there is, there's not any shavings. It's just, uh, looks like just a little bit of wear. But yeah, there's no shavings in it. It's just, if you want to call it metal dust. It glurked out quite a bit. Uh, I think somebody filled it up when this thing was at the 12 o'clock position. That's just nuts. All right, I'm on to the other side and I've gave it a squirt of PB Blaster. Just like the other side, this thing has some paint inside of it. Okay, that's all the way in. I'm, I'm hoping that this was properly serviced and not over serviced like the other side. Well, it looks like it was properly serviced. Of course, you can't really tell. One side has tons of oil, way too much, and this side doesn't have enough. Uh, once again, there's really nothing, no metal flakes, just some Oh, some super, super fine ground up metal, but no metal flakes. That's a good thing. All right, time to fill it up with a little bit of oil. Well, all right, some, uh, I had to add a little bit of oil. Wasn't too much, but uh, everything is buttoned back up and put away. 
And uh, I think that I'm going to wrap up this episode. But uh, I had a fun time doing it. I hope you did too. Hope you come back and see me again. If you like the video, uh, please click on that uh, thumbs up uh, button down below. And if you don't mind leaving a comment, that would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, tell your friends about us. All right, I appreciate, again, you watching. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe and God bless.